All right, Brock, they how old Brock, they was shy. All praises to Yahweh Bashem was shy. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Yahweh was shy. He's the only begotten Son. Rakahak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. That's what comforts and guides us in all understanding. I want to say peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. All right, Shalom, Wabarakim, La Bakayarim, Yasha Allah. And of course, the double honors to our elders and apostles and coming back in the reincarnation known as Great Millstone. All right. So, Shani Kabab. Gawala Wakab, Zakonya Noah, Waha Shalayaka Noah. All right, now this should be titled uh, Shahar Ain't There, but Kodar Is. All right, and this is just off the strength of uh, watching the Elders and Apostles videos, which we all should be doing, you know, and taking notes, uh, mental notes, actual notes. And uh, one thing I picked up, I just want to do a quick video on it. Uh, they had went into Jeremiah 14 and 2, and uh, the Elder Apostle Har said that the same, the Kodar is in both verses, here and in Solomon. And um, Shakar ain't there, ain't there. All right, because you got two, you got two words for black. So this is Jeremiah or Jeremiah fourteen and one. It says the word of the Lord Yahweh that came to Jeremiah concerning the dearth. Ba'al Shemia was shy. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. So yes, of course, one fold to to understand, black goes into. Uh, uh, void, voidness, emptiness, and uh, mourning. All right, and not more, not specifically the color. Although we do use it for the color because our people are actually dark. All right, now when we look up this word quadar here, all right, uh, quadar. See, you got quadar. When you scroll down, it says to mourn, be dark, to be dark, to be darkened, to grow dark. All right. Now, when you look here in the the translation count, you see it comes up as more than six time black for dark for black ish once darkened once in heaven uh, heavily once. All right. So and if you want to find those verses, you can just go and you click on black or any of these words and it'll go and show you. Now, when we go to Songs of Solomon again, Shahar ain't there, but Qadar is. It's the Song of Solomon. One and five, it says, I am black, but calmly. So he's not saying I'm mourning, but I'm beautiful. All right. He's literally talking about his, his what? His dark skin or right, his appearance, his countenance or right, his punyam, which means his, his face or right, his punya. I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, as meaning like the tents of Hadar as the curtains of Solomon. So here he's giving you what? The col the color. All right. And he's saying like what? Like the tents of Kedar, because the Ishmaelites or Ishmael. All right. They are also a dark skinned nation like everyone was on Earth at one point in time, aside from Cain and Esau and his descendants. All right. Now, before we look at the word black, let's just look up the word Kedar, because, again, Kedar or Kodar goes back to that name of Ishmael and it means dark. All right. Now, here again, you have the same word. Quadar, but the reason why the translation count is different and it doesn't have all those other words is because Esau he added in the Masoretic text, so he doesn't he this word Quadar he doesn't pr pronounce it Quadar everywhere, he pronounces it differently because of the vowels that he's associated with it. When we know that the vow only vowels through faith, Amawana, which means faith, is Ah and I. All right, but this is the same Quadar. All right, it's not Shahar, and it says dark. All right, it says dark, a son of Ishmael descendants. Now we go back. All right, because in English you see we had Quadar came up four times as black, right? All right, we came up uh came up four times as black. Now when we type in black, all right, and we hit enter in in the concordance on blue letter, let's go to the very first instant. It says Leviticus 13 and 31. And if the priest look on the plague of the scowl and behold, it be not in sight deeper than the skin and that there is no black hair in it, then the priest shall put up him that hath the plague of the scowl even seven days. So here the black is talking about the hair. All right. It's not talking about hair that's mourning. All right. It's talking about actual black hair, and let's see what that word there is. All right, the priest, the plague. All right, and that word there is shahar. All right, 
S H A C H A A R, Shahar. All right, and this means black. All right, just that's just for the color. All right, just like you saw here in Songs of Solomon one and five, the King Solomon he was saying, "I am black." All right, look, this is my color. All right, and and, and I'm beautiful, and I'm just like the tents of Kedar. You know, we look, we have the same complexion. All right, and there's scriptures wrote in here. There's color in the scriptures because the Lord knew that he was going to strip our heritage from us. According to Jeremiah 17 and 4, I will, I will remove, uh, take away that heritage that I gave thee. We would need something to cling to. That's why in slavery, they wouldn't let us read the Bible because there were color scriptures in there. If color didn't matter, then why is it in here? For truth's sake. All right. So again, when we look in uh, Songs of Solomon 1 and 5, you have black and you have Kedar, but the Hebrew words are different. All right, Kedar more so means like dark skin or dark, and Shahar literally just means black, the actual color. All right, and that's what I wanted to bring out. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Shahar ain't there, but Kedar is. All praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Shalom to elect. Praying to know you're edified. Rock the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Shalom.